This is the Ubiquiti Unify ACAP Pro. And this is the box it came in. I'm a little bit concerned because I'm like some of the other Unify stuff which I'll be unboxing in some of my other videos. Um, they come with this sort of glossy paper surround. So a little bit concerned with regards to this unit uh, that I got from Amazon because uh, it's been taped here and the seal has been broken here. I'm hoping that maybe Amazon have literally just decided that uh, they need to open the box to change some kind of power adapter or something. But anyway, let's open this up and uh, see what's in the box. First of all, let's, uh, let's see what's on the outside of the box. So we've got the name there, we've got the UAP AC Pro. Uh, Unify Networks, moving around we've got uh, the model number, uh, the test date, so the test date on this is the 13th of uh, October 2020, the model number, quality control pass sticker etc. On the back of the box we've got some more information, features, indoor or outdoor installation, simultaneous dual band 3x3 three three, MIMO, 5GHz band with radio range of 1300 megabits per second, 2.4 gigahertz band with radio range of 450 megabits per second, range of up to 122 meters or 400 feet, support for 802.3 AF power over ethernet, two gigabit ethernet ports. Apparently the package contents contains one Unify AC Pro access point, ceiling slash wall mount kit, and a gigabyte PoE adapter, which is 48 volts at 0.32 amps. So there you go, let's take a look inside the box, see what we've got. So I'm gonna get my trusty knife here and I'm gonna break the seal. Just inside the tab here, we've got some other instructions as to how to mount it, uh, screw positions, etc. So we have some styrofoam stuff here. Okay, so first of all, this is a promising sign. Um, obviously, it's got a UK power cable in it, which is probably why the unit was opened by Amazon. Um, the sort of standard UK plug here with the uh, three point connector there. So, pop this to one side. Next, we'll open up the uh, power over ethernet injector. So, it's just stuck down here, a little bit of tape. Oops. Personally, I won't be using this power over ethernet adapter. My plan with this particular access point is to power it over uh, power over ethernet. But for those of you who are interested, uh, here's a quick look at that. So you have this little clip here, which I guess you can then wall mount or ceiling mount, etc. Uh, and then the power over ethernet injector sort of clips in there and is then securely held in place against the wall or ceiling. So the cable that we opened up a second ago obviously plugs into here and we then plug our, our LAN network into this port. And the cable that would then run from this unit to the access point uh, would then plug into this red port here. Okay, so this is the main unit. This is the ACAP Pro. So the unit seems to be quite big actually. Uh, this is the back of the unit. So as you can see it has what you'd expect, various markings, serial number, um, there's a QR code there. Unify APAC Pro. So I'm assuming we can just twist this unit around. Having, having had a quick look, it seems you have to lift this tab up just over here. Um, so we lift that up and twist it, and then the plastic mounting plate pops up like that. Turn the unit over, we've got the Unify logo there. Pretty cool. Uh, when this unit is powered, there is actually a blue ring that uh, illuminates in the center, and that denotes the, the current state of the access point. So it will say if it's initializing 
um, or if it's ready or if there's an error. Uh, I know that inside the Unify controller software you can actually disable the LED if you don't want it on. Uh, obviously this is the first time I've ever bought any Unify, uh, Ubiquiti Unify equipment, so I'm not actually sure how powerful that LED is uh, and if whether or not I'll be turning it off in my installation. So I'm assuming we're gonna pop this top piece up here. Yep, there you go. So just inside there, as you can see, we have uh, a USB port. Not entirely sure what that's used for. Um, we've got a secondary RJ45 connected down there, uh, which labels, there's a label saying secondary. And we've also got the, uh, the primary, it's labeled main, just down here. Uh, so I'm assuming that when I plug the uh, the Cat6 cable in that will be powering and providing data to this device that will be plugged into here. What I'll do is I'll uh, I'll give a few updates in the video shortly um, with regards to what this secondary one is used for. I'm assuming it's literally just a pass through or maybe you can actually feed two RJ45 cables in here for redundancy. So connecting them to two separate switches and some RJ45. Uh, just to provide the redundancy. There's also a reset switch just inside here um, as you can see you can re factory reset the device and this little tab here which we can remove if we were to say wall mount it and the cable has to come up the wall uh, and obviously to achieve that flush fitting of the unit. So personally I'm going to be mounting this to the ceiling uh, and therefore I'll be actually drilling a, a hole large enough for my uh, Cat6 cable and the RJ45 plug uh, which will then uh, sort of twist around here and then plug into the main port. Also in the box, which I haven't yet covered, obviously we've seen the plastic uh, mount plate, but there's also this metal mounting plate here. So I'm going to take a read of the instructions and see how I, how I should actually be setting this up. But that, that feels certainly very sturdy uh, and um, I'm assuming this would be used for uh, mounting to the ceiling prior to then mounting that. Okay, so let's take a look at the instructions now. So we've got this very small little uh, instructions book here, which is enclosed in this plastic cover. Uh, just a case of peeling back like so. And we can then open up the instructions. So this particular manual seems to only cover the uh, English user information on just this section. So the rest of the, the user manual seems to be for other countries. Uh, let's just take a look to see if there's anything concerning here. Uh, read the following instructions. Warning, failure to provide proper ventilation may cause fire hazard. Keep 20 meters away clearance next to the ventilation holes for adequate airflow. Uh, warning, reduce the risk of fire or electric shock. Do not expose the product to rain or moisture. Do not use this product location that can be submerged by water. Avoid using the product during an electrical storm. In the box, we also get this, uh, this wall mounting kit here, which contains a number of screws and, and raw plugs, etc. Let's take a look what we get in there now. Okay, so we get four raw plugs, four long screws, three screws, and we also get four bolts. It's important to note that this paper document here doesn't actually provide the installation instructions. The installation instructions are actually printed on this part of the box here. So, so you need to follow uh, these images here and steps to install your Unify ACAP Pro onto your wall or ceiling. 